So Tarsus, the first martyr, is the ice boss you encounter at Martyr's Altar, in the ice caves behind the enshrined sanctum. In this guide, I'll show you how you can defeat him. Now like I said before in my previous guide, I like using Solomon and the Hallowed Sword as this is a good balance between the more polarizing stats of the other shells. It doesn't really matter however if you have another character setup, because the tactics you have to employ stay the same. At the start of the fight he'll slide towards you and tries to hit you. You can actually hear it when he's about to strike when the ice cracks, so right at that moment dodge away. Tarsus' special ability is that he can turn invisible. He might therefore suddenly appear next to you and swing his sword. Make sure you always have your hardened ability ready so he doesn't inflict any damage. So Tarsus has an amazing reach with his sword but don't get intimidated by that when he comes close. Whenever you quick dodge by pressing the dodge button twice you can use the invincibility frames of the animation so you won't get hit. What that means is for example here, when you back up right as he strikes, the attack actually goes through you, so keep that in mind. When he smashes his sword on the ground like this, he's an easy target, so don't hesitate to strike him. You can get multiple hits in and get a good chunk of his health bar off. At a certain moment he will also plant his sword in the ice and start summoning an icy wind. The area will light up a bit. Just be sure that you are not in this part of the environment because it'll eat away your health. After you get his first health bar down, he will power up again and round 2 starts. This is a bit different as you can see because Tarsus will slide away whenever you try to attack him. He'll then slide back and he'll try to hit you, so don't try to attack him but back up. He might plant his sword in the ice again after which Spike stares through the floor. Luckily he'll give you adequate time to get out of the way, so just take a few steps back and sit this one out. In general it's best to keep your distance and play it smart. If he starts sliding around you like this, just hit him and once you see him hit back, harden up. Slowly you'll get through his health bar and defeat this boss. Well, not so difficult right? Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.